in this video, we're going to put these transmission coolant lines into the charger. We're starting by fitting a pipe that doesn't actually fit. Um, anyways, on with the video. And just before I get into the pipe that I'm going to fit, that doesn't fit, and why it doesn't fit. Um, anyway, if you've watched any of my previous videos, you'll have seen that uh, at some point last year, I replaced the entire cooling system on my 68 charger. That all went amazingly well until I connected the coolant lines up for the transmission and inadvertently cross-threaded one of the coolant pipes from the transmission into the radiator. If you haven't seen that video, I'll, uh, I'll post a link to it up here if you haven't seen that video yet, so you'll be able to watch that one later on and catch up with everything. So, anyway, so after losing a fair amount of transmission fluid, I uh, brought the car back in the drive, shut everything off, took the pipe off, had a look at the end, and immediately reached for a tap and die set to recut the thread and see if I could repair it. Obviously, I couldn't, uh, not least of all because I don't really know how to use a tap and die set properly. Well, I do. I know how to use a tap and die set. What I don't know is how to measure threads properly. Um, I haven't actually learned that yet, but... I will at some point, obviously, now. But anyway, if you can order new coolant pipes for the transmission, order a set of them from here. Inline tube, brake and plumbing products over in the USA. And they arrived absolutely fine, no problem at all, until I went to fit them on the car. Now, I only need to do one, so I was going to keep one as a spare, because there's no point in changing two if you don't need to. But once I was under the car, I realised that the one that I had cross-threaded that needed changing was actually a good eight to nine inches shorter than the one that was supplied in the box from inline tube, which does tend to cause a bit of an issue. So anyway, having a look at it, my charger transmission is actually piped up differently to the way it shows you as how they should be piped up in the original workshop manual. I'll show you what I mean. As you can see in this photo, the two transmission lines going from the gearbox to the radiator the one that i've shaded in in black is the one that i need to change on the photograph it actually shows the line goes from the front most connection on the gearbox along to the right hand side of the radiator as you look at the car from the front on my car it's the other way around so the obvious idea would have been to take both pipes off and change both pipes however what i decided to do instead was just change the pipe that i actually need to change to get the car back on the road and um, cut the new pipe and the old pipe and try and make one pipe long enough from the two which i think i've managed to do there it is so that pipe there that has to come out so we'll take that one out and as you can see the pipe's disconnected now so all i'm going to do is work out a way to get that pipe out from under the car and then put the new one in and hopefully you can see where it bolts onto. Well that's the old pipe out, you can see the length of it in different shapes. So now it's just a case of putting the new one in in its place and because the pipe doesn't fit I've cut them up into pieces and what I'll do is I'll join them and then I'll put them under the car, connect them to the gearbox and at least I'll get the one replaced that needs replacing. So all I've done is cut the new pipe here. That's the remainder of the new pipe so you can see how much shorter it is than I needed it to be. And then I also cut off this length of pipe here mostly because I noticed there's a slight leak coming from around there on the pipe which I didn't want to have left in, so it was leaking anyway, so I've cut that off. And obviously I cut that end off originally because that's the end that was uh, cross-threaded and actually made a, a complete mess of inside, so we don't need that bit. And then I joined this section of the new pipe to that section of the old pipe, just there. And this is the pipe that we're now going to try and fit into the charger to connect the gearbox to the radiator. Now the new length of pipe that I've made has to go from that connection there, where the torch is, right the way along to the front of the car and across the right hand side of the radiator. Hopefully you can see this, but all the way through there, down between under the oil filter, by that other pipe, just next to the oil sump, that's where it has to be fed through to. You can just see a bit of daylight so the pipe's got to be fed through there. That's the pipe in place. Now this bracket, you can see here, swings round and connects just here to the cross member. So I've taken that off, moved it out of the way, so I can slide this in and get it up there 
behind the radiator. So that's just going to slide up there, bolt up direct to the radiator. I need two hands to do that, so I'll come back to you when that's all back connected up and this bracket's bolted in as well. If you can see all the way down there, that's the pipe in, connected to the radiator. And across this side, it runs down the side of the oil filter back to the gearbox. I'll show you where it is underneath you just bit to see the shiny bit of the new pipe but I'll show you that and then all I've got to do is connect the battery see if it'll start and fingers crossed it doesn't leak right that's the new pipe in you can just see it there in the torch light the shiny one so that's the pipe in I fired the car up already there's no leaks so uh, we just need to check all the fluids and all the wires and cables and everything make sure everything's all right before we take it out on the road so that's that one done guys it's in it's done she runs, there's no leaks. If you haven't seen the previous video about the charger, I'm going to put the new cooling system in about a year ago now. Have a look at that one and you'll see why I had to do uh, the new cooling pipe on this one. So I'll leave a link to that one in the description and I'll leave it up at the end of the video as the next one for you to watch. I really recommend you having a look at that one. Still got stickers available if you want one. I'll leave a link in the description as to how you can get one. Patreon there as well. If you enjoyed this video, leave it a like, give us a comment below, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next one. Bye for now.